The amount of money I spent on my last relaxer day, I have never ever in my entire nine years of my hair journey spent that amount of money on hair products. But I sort of realized that it was worth it because if one of my goals is to have healthy, longer hair, I should be willing to put in the work physically, mentally, and financially as well. So yeah, it is not necessary to splurge on a hair product to grow your hair. It is not necessary to break the bank, use expensive products to get your hair to be healthier or longer. But as you grow older in your hair journey, you realize that sometimes it may be necessary to experiment with new products. It does not mean that those new products have to be expensive. It's just that the products I chose to experiment with at that time were pricey compared to where I was coming from. So I got a ton of products. It's like all the products I have been fantasizing about in my entire nine years of hair journey, I got them during that period. And that was like, I think three months ago. Yeah, this video is long overdue. And that was because I took a break from YouTube due to some personal issues, but we're back. So the products were combined from both my relaxer and wash day routine because I did a wash day routine just to sort of prepare my hair, give my hair extra nourishment, strength to undergo the relaxer process because like I already say, a relaxer process is a very stressful process on the hair. So you want to prepare the hair to undergo that stretch. So I did a protein treatment and it is the strongest protein treatment I have done since I started my hair journey, I think. So I used the Afroji two-step protein treatment for the first time. And when I say guys, the results were amazing. Like the amount of breakage I got after using that treatment reduced drastically. My shedding reduced drastically. I, I think you guys will even see it in my hair vlogs. Like the amount of shed hair or breakage I get after every detangling routine. I think I share most of them with you guys. And if you've been watching my hair vlogs, you will see that in my recent hair vlogs, the amount of hair I lost was so, so much more compared to the usual amount of hair I lose before I started using the protein treatment. So I am happy that even if I splashed on hair products this time around, I got the results I wanted. So before we get to the total, I'm gonna give you guys like a breakdown of how much I spent. I already have a video, already have like two to three videos on the channel where I talked about the prices of each of the products, like the individual prices. So I'm not gonna be talking about that. I'm just gonna be giving you guys like the total amount of what I spent. So I made two orders, two huge orders. So I'm gonna be looking down because I wrote it down here. So the first one cost about 36,100 Naira and that was $48. Um, to some people this may be extremely big and to some people this may be extremely small but to me i'll say it's big like i said compared to where i'm coming from i have never spent this much on hair products typically on my relaxer days and wash days i'll say i spend about if it is really really expensive let's say 10k 10,000 naira and that should be about 10 to 15 dollars so yeah that's what i spend on a typical relax that day or wash your routine but this time from just the first order my first order i spent at six thousand eight hundred naira and as at the time i did this conversion it was 48 dollars yeah i know dollar have increased so you can do your own conversion if you have the time but i wrote this down when the rate was a little bit more favorable so meaning that what I'm going to be given, like the amount I'm going to be given in dollars right now, it's actually less than what I spent. If you use a current conversion rate, it's going to be higher. So the next order, I spent about 30,500 Nair, which was about 46 dollars. Some of the products I got, I got Afroji 2 Step Protein Treatment and the Balancing Moisturizer. I got the Afroji 2 Minute Reconstructor. I got the Austin Moist Deep Conditioner. What else did I get? I got BO5 Shampoo. I got both their Clarifying and their Moisturizing Shampoo. I got a Relaxer Mixing Bowl, like the mixing set. 
I also got um, a hair straightening brush. I got a round brush. I got hair clips. I got the silk element heat protectant. Those are some of the products I got. Those are the ones I can remember for now. You can check out the video to know the other products I got, how much each of the products got and all that. So they are just going to continue. So after those two orders, those were the two huge orders I made. The other things I got, I got them at a local beauty supply store. And these were basically um, three things. I got relaxers, which cost about 2,100 Naira in total. I got a comb, which was about 500 Naira. I got a headband, which was about 500 Naira. It was a velvet headband. Yeah. I wanted to get satin or silk but I couldn't find that and I really really needed to use them because I was so tired of using rubber bands like I said rubber bands are so so bad for your hair so I just wanted to like switch to something different and obviously the velvet bands are more healthy than the rubber bands so I decided to get them so that day I spent about 3100 Naira in total which was about four dollars so for the total now in Naira I said the first order was 36,100 Naira, the second one 34,500. What I got from the local beauty supply stores was 3,000. So the total was 73,600 Naira. Just on the hair products. That is literally seven times of the maximum amount I used to spend on my hair product. It was a lot, but I can say it was worth it because even after three months because i bought those products over three months ago and as of now i'm still using them like i have not bought any other new products since then apart from my leave-in conditioner that's the perfected mega growth daily leave-in strengthener which i ran out of so i have to get two of that i think that was about a month ago but outside that i have not gotten any other product and i have been using products on my hair yeah i'm not a product junkie I have literally not used any product on my hair for the past one month. I've talked about that in my last video, so you can check it out. But at least for like the past few months, I have been washing my hair every month, deep conditioning. And I'll say, yeah, they are doing their money's worth. They are working for the money I spent. So in dollars, like I said, the first order was about $48, the second for the six, and the third $4. So in total, I spent about $98. So even though I spent more than I usually would, I did not regret this decision. And that's because I saw massive improvement, like extreme, when I say extreme improvement in the overall health of my hair, like I said, after I did the Afro G2 step protein treatment, this video is not sponsored by the way, I'm just giving my honest reviews about this product and i'm going to give a detailed review about each of these products later on in another video so you can stay tuned for that after i used the two-step process treatment the shedding and the breakage reduced drastically the balancing moisturizer guys the first day i used that conditioner i could not believe it was my hair the awesome moist those things are on another level. The hair straightening brush. Before I started using the hair straightening brush, I used to use the tension method or if I decide to use the shades method, I do it with a comb. But when I say the hair straightening brush changed the game for the better and it was so, so much easier to flat iron. You know, obviously the shades method is going to give smoother results than the tension method. So most of the time I try to do the shades method. But when I was using the comb or a brush, it was a struggle because I always have to make sure the hair strands don't come out of the comb, like position it and all that. But with the hair straightening brush, it literally does everything for you. All you just have to do is put it on the hair. You don't have to be scared about the hair like coming up. And I feel it gives a more silky and smoother result than the hair comb. And when I say the heat protectant was heat protecting, girl, the results, I don't even know where to start from. From the heat protectant effect to the weightlessness to the scents, like the fact that I can spray it because my former heat protector that's the mega gold smoother conditioner high shine serum is more heavy weighted when i find it on my hair like i have to put it on my palm and rub it on my hair so it was kind of messy and it used to weigh my hair down because of the weight it's like a hair serum 
but the silk element heat protectant i used it was so lightweight guys like my hair felt so so amazing after i used it you can check out my last relaxer routine videos to see what i was talking about and compared to my old videos where i used to use the mega growth heat protectant you notice a big difference like my hair was so light so free the process was less messy because it has a spring cap so you don't have to put it on your palm unless you feel like but you can literally spray directly on your hair the process was less messy guys in fact the results i got from those products i feel they are definitely worth more than the money i spent and that's why sometimes i say if you want to really really get something you have to make sacrifices and don't get me wrong sacrifices must not be in terms of money like i said it can be physical sacrifice yeah there are times i spent days on my hair just installing a protective style i'll spend like three to four days before while i was trying to install braids so it can be physical sacrifice it can be mental sacrifice try to think of what would be better for your hair trying to compare your current regimen to your previous regimen thinking about your hair thinking about what would be best for your hair and then it can be financial sacrifice you don't have to break the bank you can just try to experiment with something new to know if your hair will love it and that's why i always preach about experimenting with new things but don't go extreme when experimenting okay but you can see that if i chose not to experiment if i was too scared to try new things i would not have found a better heat protectant i would not have found a better condition i would not have found better tools and accessories for my hair so you have to experiment it's part of the sacrifice all right but be careful when you experimented because even though i say experiment someone like me i would never wash my hair in braids i have never washed my hair in a protective style before and i am never okay i will not use the word never but i don't see myself doing that anytime soon all right before i wash my hair i take the uniform protective style my hair is in i can twist my hair while in the shower just to prevent tangling and all that but that's it i am not gonna wash my hair in protective styles so yes guys i would say that even though i spent seven times of what i usually spend on my hair products I am happy and glad that I got the result I wanted from them. If you've been enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to hit the like button. And if you enjoy this type of content, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you wouldn't miss out on any upload. And yeah, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.